Hello and welcome everyone to this beautiful new business in the town of Hudson. We are Vessels Christian Library. They're our newest member and one of the newest businesses here in Hudson. So today we have Miranda Franco, Alejandro Franco, the owners, and the town mayor of our beautiful Hudson, um, North Carolina. I'm going to give the microphone over to her so we can officially open this business. Thank you, Faith, and welcome to uh, the owners of, of the new bookstore, Christian Bookstore here. It is just lovely. We are truly happy to have you in Hudson. This is a very needed addition, uh, so I hope that you are very, very successful, and I think as long as you uh, follow your path and, you know, certainly follow God's work for you, um, you will be great. We're just so thankful to have you in Hudson, and welcome again, and we have two of our commissioners with us. We have Larry Chapman, and we have Jeff Link, and I'll let Faith uh, introduce anyone else, but again, welcome. We're very, very blessed to have you in Hudson, and we stand available. You're right behind sort of town hall, so anytime you need anything from the town, you know, they're just at an arm's reach. So please reach out to us if we can do anything at all for you. Welcome again. Thank you, Mayor. Um, we will now take a moment to hear from the owners, Miranda and Alejandro Franco, to hear of their journey. Um, they're bringing us not only a Christian library, but somewhere to come and worship. Um, and it's a really exciting journey for them. I can't wait for you to hear it. <laughs> um, she said, uh, it, it's, uh, my name is Alejandro Franco. Um, it is a blessing to be here today and uh, be able to gather here and uh, do this uh, grand opening. It's a uh, truly blessing. God has just directed us in this path. Um, a little bit about me, in uh, 2017, God called me to preach. Uh, it wasn't until 2019 that I finally confirmed the calling he gave me. And um, he's been working with this ministry since 2016, actually, that's before I got saved. Uh, my wife and my sister started this as a blog and God just used that blog and moved it on um, to become the Christian library that it is today. And basically from there, we just, we've been following his path and everything you see here before you, it's just a gift from the Lord. I mean, every single step to the, to the facility we're in right now, to the books you see in front of you, um, everything is basically, he, he did all that. He gave it to us. Uh, uh, he never leaves us nor forsake us. And, um, Basically, I'll let my wife kind of give a little bit of introduction to herself and kind of what brought us all into this journey. So, um, this actually has a long story behind it. I don't want to go too far back, but um, these books that you see on the show, they're um, in memory of Ted Mace, uh, Reverend Ted Mace, a pastor who had collected these books over 50 years of his ministry. Um, when we had went to go see these books, um, we just felt this overwhelming feeling knowing that the books weren't just for us, but for an entire community, entire ministry that he was heading towards. So we um, decided to pursue that and we said we prayed with his wife um, and we told her that God was going to continue this ministry. We didn't know how or when or where. Um, but God was going to do it, and so he truly fulfilled that, and he gave us this place, um, which was a, a miracle in itself. Um, he gave us uh, the opportunity to work with these lovely people, to make connections with other people, other Christians um, around the area. So um, it's just been amazing. Every step of the way has been provided, um, and we just thank the Lord for that, and we thank everybody here who has been so supportive of this ministry, and it wouldn't be able to be here without him and without all of you so thank you thank you so much for that and welcome welcome to the town of hudson and welcome to the chamber of commerce so i wanted to talk about the name of the business which is we are vessels 
Um, that name has been there since 2016 when it started as the blog um, that we thought God was calling us to do. We were supposed to uh, minister to people that way. I'm a writer, so I enjoyed that. Um, but it fell off, and we, we decided, okay, that's not what God is calling us to do. Um, and we've always kept the name, and we said, well, it's still going to be there. Whatever his ministry is for us is still going to be we are vessels. Um, but 2 Corinthians 4, 7 says that... Um, God has put his treasure in these earthen vessels to show that the excellency of the power is not of us, but of him. And everything that we've done, every evidence of that is here in this place, showing that he has provided and that the excellency, everything that um, everybody's complimented on so far, everything that um, people have said about how did you do this? Where did, where did this come from? How did it get here? It's all God. And every time somebody asks me about it, I say, it's all God. I said, nothing we've done. Um, and we just want to give glory to him for that um, and make sure that um, he, he can hear from heaven that this is not our ministry. This is God's ministry. Um, and we are just vessels of that. And so we just hope to be used by him in the most glorious way possible um, and, and just bring him glory. That's, that's what the name is about. And we hope that other people can further be vessels as well. People that step in here will um, show their light to the community and be a vessel as well. All right, three, two, two one.